I was watching one of those dumb fucking shows. You know, like they basically make a true crime series out of everything now. Yeah. I was watching the one on the Nexium cult. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I just shut it off because, like, I stopped feeling bad for the victims after, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Why? Why? What happened? Fuck these people, dude. Like, they just were so, like... <clears throat> Go ahead. It's, it's essentially this woman. She's an actress, and um, she do- she's not getting parts, obviously, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, she wouldn't be in this fucking cult. Yeah. And uh, she goes to, like, some self-help conference. Okay. And meets this guy who made some pretty well-known documentary. I forget what it was called. And she just starts chatting him up. And, um, excuse me. And uh, eventually he just, like, starts talking about this, uh, this like, group that he's in. Mm. Which ends up being Nexium. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she's talking about, like, how she's kind of sick. She had, like, a cold because it was winter. Okay. And then... The guy starts talking to her and he goes, well, do you really have a cold or is it all just in your mind? Oh, my <laughs> He's doing fucking that. God. And as dude. soon as he said that, I just started thinking, it's all in your mind, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no cold. You need to get your ass back out. There. <laughs> so that's the first thing I thought of. I was like, that is fucking nuts, dude. Oh, How you can just convince, God. like, you can f- convince somebody that's stupid that they actually don't have a cold. Because literally, the next, like, she's being interviewed in the documentary. Yeah. And she's going, and the next thing you knew, like, I woke up from a nap a couple hours later, and I didn't have a cold. Oh, my. She's like, so then I started thinking, well, what else can I change about my life? (laughs) And then I was like, oh, my fucking, are you? That's amazing. So that's like the first 20 minutes. Okay. Was it by chance? So I remember when that. HBO. Series. But when yeah. that first broke, I remember the Nexium story. It's it was the up. chick from Smallville. Is that who that so is? She was one of the ri- no, no, no. She okay. was running. She was not one of the dumb bitches. Dude. Oh, she was running. She was the Brandon show. chicks, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Her, her, and the leader, this guy Keith. Yeah. Who, um, yeah, it's just fucking crazy. So then, like, um, but dude, if you're gonna run a cult, make it a sex cult. Yeah, and you know, I didn't get far enough, obviously, to figure out what that was all about. Yeah. Um, but I do know at some point they get branded. Um, it's like all these workshop classes they attend and then they end up all living. It always ends up it's always the same fucking story. That's right. That's they right. all occupy like, you know, a small amount of area, a bunch of houses, you know, in one town or something, and then, you know, it starts off as classes, self help self help, and then just deteriorates into why don't you help me? Listen, pal, <laughs> for you to move ahead, I'm going to have to fuck your wife. Like, it's <laughs> what it always is, dude. And, like, it's not even put like that. It's more just, like, the guy ends up almost asking him to fuck his wife. Like, it's just. Oh, dude. No, and I don't know that for sure. I'm just no, saying. No, I know. It's I what know. it always is, man. It's just, like. <sighs> um. So, yeah, then she just starts talking to, like. It was just nonsense, so I, I had to turn it off. I did skip ahead a couple episodes because I didn't want. I was like, "Well, maybe they get off her." Yeah. Like, so then I mentioned that guy that uh, she meets on the boat, who convinced her that oh, she sure, didn't yeah. have a cold. Yeah. So he's just like this guy that told her that he's just like a member. He's not one of the higher ups. Yeah. So yeah. he's getting butt fucked in the brain by these people too. Because his wife, this guy, this documentary filmmaker, yeah, his wife comes up to him and like basically tells him that she's been like sexually assaulted by the leaders, and he goes like, you know, I just, I, I, I don't even know about that. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about this, and you know, talk to, uh, talk to Keith and you know Samantha. Uh, we're just gonna have to figure that out. And she's like. I'm leaving. Like, do you not like <laughs> understand what's going on here? Like, it, I, I just can't. I, I couldn't. That was me skipping ahead three episodes. Yeah. I was like, I have to turn this off. Yeah, I have to fucking turn this off. Yeah, that's uh, you know. I don't know why I thought of that, but no, no. But I, I think uh, you know, even going back to 
Um, it's all in your mind, bitch. This is immediately what I thought. I was like, this is this is how pimps work, dude. I was, <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, <laughs> the way the secret was written was just a bunch of pimps getting together, being like, <laughs> the book's <"Nana."> secret. <laughs> Like you gotta, you gotta visualize, bitch. <laughs> they just, what bitch, you lost your mind. You gotta visualize yourself. <laughs> what do they call that? Your your vision board. Your vision board. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, hoes, you got a day off. I rented this fine hotel room. It's arts and crafts day. Like, it's just good. About playing Vibe magazine. Like he's got a whole selection of magazines. Vibe magazine. He's like, I got. I got 20 years worth of Vibe magazines. <laughs> I got fucking glue sticks. I got Crayola scissors. I don't need you bitches really cutting yourselves, all right? <laughs> Just putting up... It's <laughs> like I keep saying. It's all in your mind. Now put what's in your mind on these vision boards. Every chick is just putting, like, jewelry and money on there, and the pimp, to teach them a lesson, will take one of those things and be like, See, this is Spoonies. You don't touch this shit. This is mine now. You can't let <laughs> this bitch like, get too much goddamn money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then like she puts like a Ferrari up there and he's like, bitch, you crazy. You about to put a you about to put a Toyota Corolla up there. <laughs> uh, oh fuck. <laughs> bitch, you better be putting a uh, a 10 year old Honda Civic up there. I don't know what the fuck you think about a Ferrari, bitch. Bitch, we going to Dale's used car lot. We ain't going to no Ferrari dealership. <laughs> shit, you do one more stupid shit like that, I'm going to have you riding around in a bike, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Um... Yeah, bitch. It's a bike with no seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, man. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then they go to the, oh, man, I, I, like, I'm just imagining them, like, going to, like, Random House Publishing to pitch the book. <laughs> like, this is great. See, we got these bitches in line, <laughs> okay? This is how we do it. We're trying to get America in line. <laughs> no, it just came in as a, as a pimping book, like, 101. The secret was yeah, just yeah. how to pimp. And then they took it to the publisher, and they're like, Dude, if we take out the word bitch out of this yeah. entire yeah, and like, change it to like you or like men and women, we could make millions off of it. Yeah, they're interviewing the editor and he's like, I mean, they basically just told me to keyword search the word bitch <laughs> and replace it. And, you know, I did, lo and behold, <laughs> seven million copies. <laughs>